Good evening, everybody. Hope uh, everybody is doing well. Just do a quick little audio test here. Okay, sounds like we got some audio. That's awesome. Ready to get going. If you're just joining the chat, remember to drop your name into the chat. Say hello and good evening. Okay, get everything set here. Cool. How's everybody doing tonight? Good evening. I hope everybody's having a great start to their Monday and everything is going well for you. Just getting set up over here, getting the desktop set up and uh, going to have some fun here. Buddha Belly's here. Hey, Lauren, how's it going? Good to see you. Cool, cool, cool. We're going to have some fun tonight. Tonight's lesson is going to be about uh, can, light art, uh, can line art uh, save your storyboards and talking about how to simplify uh, so you can get your storyboards done. If you're just joining the uh, live stream for the first time right now in the chat, drop your name in the chat. I want to know who we're hanging out with today. I saw a lot of people waiting all day to, to hang out with me tonight and uh, have some fun on the live stream. Cool. We're gonna have we're gonna have a good time tonight. Got some good plans and some good stuff to, to go over with you friends and uh, do some drawing and uh, talk about simplification uh, so you can get your storyboards accomplished. Uh, my day has been going well and uh, I hope yours is going well. Uh, you know, uh, also and uh, you're off to a great start of the week. Okay, well, while we're waiting here, let's go ahead and kick off the show. Okay, good evening, everybody. My name is Paul Anjali. I, I am a live-action storyboard artist, and uh, I created this channel uh, over a half year ago, and uh, I wanted to, to provide a, a platform and resource uh, for artists like you, like-minded folks that are, love visual storytelling, whether it be storyboarding for uh, you know live-action films, feature animation, animation, comics or whatever your content is i think visual storytelling is, is a great craft to learn and uh, it's, it's used in so many different ways and uh, through this channel i'm just sharing my experiences and journey through you through my own processes that have worked for me and uh, my hopes is that this uh, channel can give you the skills and knowledge so you can thrive as a visual storyteller and be able to tell your stories uh, so who's this channel for? This channel is for somebody who's just getting into storyboarding and uh, trying to figure out uh what is storyboarding? Uh, how do I get into this? Uh what are the facets of storyboarding that I need to learn? Um you know, and try these things out because there's so many different uh I, I would say there's so many different uh, levers and uh uh knowledge bases that you need to to, to sort of uh learn to become an effective and, uh, and great communicator through your visual storytelling and uh, so this channel is for you and uh, also for somebody who is already working professionally as a storyboard artist uh, and uh, or working as a comic book artist or whatever you might be doing uh, visual storytelling wise and you're like you're, you're that you you're in that uh, sort of block and you're like well how do I get better at my craft how do I level up what I'm doing, um, how do I get better at my craft, uh, even become more professional. Uh, this channel is also for you. And then also those just casual folks that are just interested in watching an artist work and uh, see, see what a storyboard artist does, you know. Uh, these are one of those things that uh, some people like to just watch others work and sort of watch their style and how, how they go about uh, doing their drawings and things. So this channel is also for you. So please consider subscribing to the channel. I'd super appreciate it. 
and uh, I am having fun with the channel. The channel has been uh, a super joy. And it's just a pleasure to be with you tonight and share some uh, time with you. I get excited every every night we're doing these live streams. Just time I could get to spend with you folks. Uh, right now it's it's pretty late at night, almost midnight. So I usually spend you know midnight till about. Uh, 1 32 in the morning with your friends and uh, be able to share and, and give some great value and some great content. Um, I've always enjoyed teaching and, uh, you know, I've always had fun as a, a college university instructor. And, uh, you know, I thought this was a great platform to be able to uh, hang out with you and share some of my time with you. And also for you folks, I appreciate you jumping in on the uh, live stream and spending some time with me. Uh, there, there's so many different places you can get content, uh, you know, and, and training and, you know, whether it be in a university in our art school or here on YouTube. And there's so many different folks uh, that can present different materials uh, to you friends out there on YouTube. And, and I just thank you very much uh, for selecting me and uh, hanging out with me. And, uh, and I just want to be able to give you some great value uh, that you can take back, um, put it in your arsenal of information and resources and uh, being able to thrive and hit your you know, passions for visual storytelling and help you on your creative journey as a visual storyteller. So again, consider subscribing um, also too with the channel, you know, hit that like notification button and uh, drop me a comment. Always love seeing comments on there. It helps tell the YouTube algorithm, hey, we want to see more work from Polly. We want to get more of this content out to other people. You know, I always think about getting into to visual storytelling and uh uh, in so many different ways, I, I sort of wound up as a visual storyteller, uh, visual storytelling artist, and storyboard artist. It's just, it's just crazy. I've, I've talked many times about, you know, my, my first professional job, you know, getting in there and, and storyboarding, um, you know, uh, overnight, and that way I sort of got a trial by fire how, how I got into storyboarding. And today, just enjoying uh, the craft and, uh, you know, sort of at that point, you know, to be able to share and uh, be able to share with great folks out there and uh, help you uh, get to where you want to go with visual storytelling. So these live streams, I love the live stream sort of format right now because uh, you can drop uh, some comments or questions into the live chat while we're going ahead with the lesson for tonight. Uh, tonight's lesson is going to be, you know, uh, is our our storyboarding master you know mastering the basics uh part of the series i come to you three times a week that's three times a week i come to you on mondays thursdays and saturdays um so mondays like tonight we're doing mastering uh storyboard mastering the basics uh class and this is your how to how to storyboard you know uh, your lessons your more instructional type of material uh, there's so many different things we've gone over uh, over the last half year and that's either what it be uh, film language talking about uh, shots shot sizes aspect ratios um, moving of camera you know camera angles we've spoken about how to break down a script all the way into thumbnails roughs storyboards and then also your animatics uh, we've gone over you know different uh, features of Photoshop to, to be able to help you with your your storyboards we've also gotten into you know just just tips and tricks of the trade and, and how to go forward to be a, an effective storyboard artist and then on Thursdays is our sketching after hour session I love these sessions this is a, a chance it's sort of my drawing tutorial type of uh, session uh, I think it is so important let me pull out a sketchbook here let's see what I got here where are my random sketchbooks I think it's so important I, I love these hardbound sketchbooks um, as a storyboard artist I, I work all the time in, in just sketching nothing that I'm doing for a job, but I'm but I'm sketching every single day to hone in, practice, um, you know, my drawings, get better, do some master studies. Uh, like I've talked to a lot of my pro friends out there, it, it's pretty much we're we're exploring. It's not so much you're learning, but you're exploring. You're exploring and doing master studies on other artists that you enjoy. You're you're learning and you're cataloging in your sketchbook uh, ideas, IPs, you know, notes on things that work for you. Um, and, uh, you know, you're always exploring things. Uh, let me see what this book is. 
th this one's sort of neat. This one's sort of old. So this is like some sketches. And here's just some uh, black and white sketches I did. This has been some time ago. Gosh, this is back in 2017. So, you know, I think it's just fun to, um, you know, t do these type of drawings, uh, have some fun, you know, trying different styles and uh, working different ways. I, I think it is so important to have a an effective, uh, you know, uh, sketchbook and, and work in different ways, to work in different mediums, you know, in terms of your visual storytelling. You know, just to give you a, a couple things here, let's just see if we got anything else. Here's some work that's just like just pencil. Let's see if I'll see it like that. Some some decent pencil work, you know. This is back in 2017, so I, I save these books. I like the hardbound books I have on catalog. So if I ever need inspiration or I'm feeling down on my own work and uh, need to remember, hey, you're pretty decent at drawing, you know, uh, I'll go back and look at the sketchbooks. Or even sometimes I'll leave some cool notes and uh, just to remind myself of certain things. So sketching after hours, Thursday nights, um, usually sometimes I have a topic or sometimes we just sketch together. And then on Saturdays um, is our storyboard jam session. The jam session is where we pull it all together. We, we pull uh, the idea together. You know, we've already had sort of a lesson for the week. We're practicing sketching. And now we're just going to go uh, just go to the metal of uh, storyboarding and uh, we've done all sorts of topics from horror to uh, you know sword fights to just just so many different you know film genres I think we were doing westerns this last Saturday and just having fun with that and so hopefully uh, there's a lot of content out there for you to enjoy I know this we've had over 80 different live streams right now for you to choose from so sort of a la carte go in there have some fun with it go pick out those topics that you want to work on watch those live streams uh, on the replay or you know just watch them all have fun you know uh, and uh, get the content you need so you can be successful and take those elements of uh, learning and knowledge and put that into your into your basket of uh, experiences and uh, you know go forward with that so again I appreciate you joining in tonight let's check the chat one more time see who else we have hanging out with us usually some people uh, jump on a little bit later uh, but I got Buddha belly with me tonight uh, how, you doing all right tonight Lauren Are you hanging out everything going well for you so cool okay so um tonight's lesson let's go a little poly here let me pull that back up tonight so tonight's lesson is about uh, line art today so can line art save your storyboards and we're going to be talking about the the simplification of your storyboard so you can knock out your line art really quickly and uh, have some fun um, i'll give you some suggestions that i usually do in terms of uh, how I go forward with storyboarding uh, and uh, you know just sort of some tips and tricks as I'm going through as we sort of storyboard um, together so cool see if anybody else jumps on real quick okay cool so I, I think it's always important to, to, to practice uh, your, your drawing and, uh, you know, figure out cheats and uh, ways you can improve your, your, your storyboarding. And this one, this point today is about line art and uh, keeping it simple, keep keeping it simple, loose to the point uh, of, of what you're trying to do. I think it's super important that as a storyboard artist, I, I, I whether you're a student out there and you're going to art school or you're in an art class or you're, you're doing anything, um, I think it's really important to hit your deadlines. Uh, deadlines are critical, mission critical. Uh, if you want to, to, to be working in this industry, if you get the, the, the privilege to work in feature film, animation, in a studio setting, you know, um, it is, it's a privilege to be able to do these things. and. Uh, you're, you're sort of like a, a gunslinger, you're a hired gun. You're either working for the studio or you're working as a contractor. Uh, you know, when we're here talking a lot about storyboarding or if you're a comic artist, you know, and you're, you're, you have page counts that you need to, to, to meet. You, you're always, uh, us artists need to be able to hit deadlines. And, uh, and, and hitting those deadlines, you know, delivering quality work on a, on a tight deadline is... Um, 
super important uh, to continue to stay employed, um, having those people go, hey, I love working with Polly. He's got a great attitude, can do, he's a problem solver. Um, he works very diligently and quickly. He's able to uh, listen and is an effective communicator and can deliver the product, which is the storyboards, in a very, you know, under promise, over deliver. And uh, he's able to continue doing that type of work. And so, and then today's lesson, we're going to be talking about that, hit those deadlines. But what are some cheats and some, um, some some different ideas that we can do to speed up our storyboard process so we're not down in the weeds we get to the point we get it we get it done you know um and uh i think it's a it's a, it's a it's it's always that 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 sort of balance you know between the quality of work that you're trying to get done and making sure you hit the deadline within that and you could and you could go to any project whether you're a student and you're to have to have a report the report is due by a certain date there's only so much time you can put into that report or you're you're working on a painting you know how long the painting takes and you want to be able to deliver that painting or that piece of artwork whether you're working uh, you're just getting started and you're doing fan art commissions or something like that uh, you still got to hit your deadlines you know you don't hit the deadline and deliver it to your client or your customer um, that material at that specific deadline um, you're not going to be selling a lot of pieces of artwork you know and uh, it's always that gamble we want to do the best artwork we can but at the same time we have to hit the deadline you must hit that deadline if you made a commitment it's like a, a any type of service business you know you don't hire the plumber and the plumber never shows up or the plumber takes forever to get your your plumbing fix because you need to use a sink or something like that you know you need to be able to come through with these things uh, when you make commitments and uh, money's on the table time is on the table and so uh, we're gonna be talking about some some tips and tricks uh, to help you uh, get effective of uh, how, how to draw and how to to maximize the time uh, to get the client uh, what they need so we're gonna be going over that today um, I don't do any sponsorships here yet on the channel but and I'm not sponsored by uh, any company at this time but it was something I wanted to share with you guys uh, that I, they started up I have a lot of you friends out there that are that are asking me for help and uh, they and uh, quite a few people have asked to have help one-on-one -on -one with me or be a part of a workshop uh, and so or a part of a membership community and I've been working really hard um, trying to figure out different ideas and things like that uh, to be able to help uh, you out there uh, get more of that personal one-on-one -on -one with me uh, besides here on the live streams and possible videos and things like that so um, I signed up for a um, a part of a community type of thing uh, called buy me a coffee and uh, you know I just started it uh, this last weekend and uh, it's sort of just a platform and I'm gonna be working with that platform to be able to deliver you some some better one-on-one -on -one content with me personally uh, right now I just have the donation portion set up for buy me a coffee and uh, you know if you'd like um, I, I would ask for your support uh, here on uh, the for the YouTube channel and it's pretty simple and I really like this platform I did a lot of research into patreon and other ways that that we can work together and uh, I, I sort of signed up for this buy me a coffee and I, I like it a lot because I'm able to uh, be able to deliver to you uh, that one-on-one -on -one experience I'm able to deliver to you uh, memberships uh, digital products and uh, of course donations and I, I think it's really cute it's it's simply like just it, in, in a sense this buy me a coffee for what I have set up right now is pretty much just a tip jar and uh, you can drop me you know I, I love drinking coffee uh, I gotta stay up every night so I appreciate uh, anybody who contributes to, to, to treat me to a coffee I super appreciate uh, that time and uh, uh, that contribution to help keep the channel uh, going and getting to the next level and level up the channel and uh, level up the uh, content I can give to you so please uh, there's links in the description below uh, please check out my buy me a coffee page if you uh, uh, 
enjoy the content uh, that, that you're watching, I'd appreciate you, uh, you know, buy me a coffee. And, uh, you know, it's up to you. Uh, nothing, uh, there's nothing that you have to do. But if uh, you feel so inclined and appreciate and enjoy the content that you're watching, I'd love to do this more often for you and be able to deliver even better content to you uh, with your support. So um, I just, like I said, just launched this out the other day. And, uh, you know, it was great to see uh, everybody uh, contributing and helping out. And uh, I just wanted to share uh, a special thanks uh, to my first uh, person that made a, that bought me two coffees, and that's Buddha Belly. So thank you, Lauren. I really appreciate you. And uh, thank you for grabbing me a couple of coffees. I sincerely appreciate you supporting the channel. And when folks like uh, Lauren Buddha, known as Buddha Belly, uh, do things like that uh, for folks like me, this helps me to be able to deliver great content to you. And then also uh, be able to, 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 provide this content for free going forward into the future. So um, just wanted to say uh, special thanks to uh, Lauren. Super appreciate you. Thanks for uh, believing in me and supporting the channel. And uh, it means a lot to me. So for others out there too, I'd love to shout you out here on the live stream. Uh, but uh, I appreciate you, Lauren, being the first one to, to knock out of the park for me. So thank you so much. And I look forward to giving you some, some great content over here. So with that said, friends, uh, let's get into uh, tonight's lesson. Uh, let's have some fun with this and uh, see where we can go. And uh, let me turn a couple of these things off here. And talk about line art and, uh, you know, sort of see where we can go with this tonight. Okay, so cool. We're back over here. Take a sip of my coffee. Ronnie just joined in. Hey, Ronnie, how's it going? Hey, Paul, how's your evening been going? Hey, it's been going great, Ronnie. Welcome back uh, to the live stream. Miss you all the time, my friend, and uh, happy to have you over here. So um, very cool. Thank you. Okay, so let's get started over here. Um, let's go back into Photoshop here. Let's drop a new layer. some black on there here okay do, 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 do. I thought this worked pretty well last week with the black screen and the white text so let's try that real quick okay Let's get rolling. Okay, so okay, so tonight we're going to be talking about line art and uh, sort of how, how can we work with that with storyboarding. I, I think line art is critical in, in terms of uh, what we're doing. Um, to, to, to storyboard you know uh, you know we, we start off with with art you know between two points you know as we go forward is a line and uh, so, so two points make up a line if we're, we're talking traditional art and those type of things and drawing instruction and uh, just how, how do we utilize line art because you see all different types of uh, storyboards and um, first you know when we're looking at it we're, we're like what we're trying to do is we're trying to simplify the drawing you know uh, when storyboarding And that's what we're trying to do, is we're trying to simplify the drawing. Uh, I think by simplifying the drawing, uh, uh, by doing this, it, 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 it's pretty much it, it. I 
It makes your drawings go faster. You know, in terms of, uh, of what you're doing. Um, I practice a lot uh, when I'm drawing. Let's see if I have something over here. Um, when I'm drawing at home, and I'm just sketching, and um, I'll, I'll use three different um, tools, okay? And, you know, some, sometimes I'll use, you know, uh, pencils and stuff, but predominantly I, I'll use three different tools. I'll, I'll use a just a, just a pen, and, and the point I'm trying to make is to, to simplify your drawings, um, when, you, when you're sketching and, and, you're, and you're drawing and you're using your, your art pencils and you're, you're getting into the motion and you're drawing a lot with your, your, your graphite tools, it'd be like your, your HB pencils or whatever you might be using, uh, you can get sort of carried away and get too much in the noodling and detail and all that type of stuff. And, and I tend to, when I'm practicing, because I've had a lot of questions from you friends out there on YouTube about, you know, how, Polly, how do, how do you keep drawing digital and then how do you draw traditional? I try to draw both regularly, I mean almost daily. Um, and when I'm just sketching and I have my, my um, sketchbook or I just have some sheets of paper or whatever, or whatever it is, uh, I'll just be sitting there and, and just sketching. Here's just a quick little black and white sketch I, I drew you know and I'm using these simple tools and what I like about these simple tools is when you lay down the line you have to think about it you have to you get to lay it down once you're not sitting there uh, with with an eraser and erasing uh, those lines and so you have to be committed so when you're using uh, these type of tools uh, as you practice and hone in how quickly you can get your sketches done um, so when I'm doing basic uh, art uh, I will sometimes just use the uh, pen this is just a, a simple big pen uh, I'll have my a little bit fancier pens. I use a Pilot G2 pen sometimes too. And I'll use those pens just to lay down my line. I'll use a Sharpie to darken in an area or a little bit of shadow. And, and sometimes I just have one gray um, Copic marker um, to, to, to um, just add some texture, some tonal, and to, that's about it. So um, that's how I usually practice. And if I am just sitting there, I'm not worried about the shape of the story, the story picture frame, uh, you know, for your storyboard uh, shot, uh, whatever size I'm working with, I'm just sort of working quickly. And if I'm thumbnailing, say a director, um, I'm sitting down with a director, I'm sitting down with a client. Uh, I want to be able to have tools like this that I can just sit down. You know, not all of us have, or a lot of you students out there don't have enough uh, funds right now to, to get an iPad Pro with Procreate, and you're sitting there working that way. Um, I, I, I tend to try to, to work with these tools. So if I'm sitting down um, at, at a meeting, I can sit there and write on a napkin. I can sit there and just doodle away and draw those initial thumbnails just right on paper in front of the client. And then I can take that material back, scan it in, put it into my computer, and uh, if we had to create upon shots, that, that meets the, the vision of the director or the client, and uh, go forward from there to do the, the fancy stuff. But uh, I think it's super important to be able to use these simple tools. Uh, so join me on my sketching after hours um, session on Thursdays where you can practice those sketches and get going with that stuff. But again, use the, the simple tools uh, to be able to knock these uh, that work out. It helps you, keeps you simplified in terms of what you're doing. And then also sometimes what I'll do is I'll use the Copic marker just to lay down the basic form and then use a little bit more detail with uh, with my liner, with the uh, the finer, uh, you know, ballpoint pen or whatever it might be. So um, these sketchy materials are also good. At times too, yeah, I won't, I won't necessarily do it, but if you're trying to learn to become a storyboard artist and you're line, trying to learn um, line efficiency and those type of things, try try this little pen technique. I think it works really, really well. It keeps you focused on um, 
what you're doing and how to do it right you know uh, and at times too I use I do use a, a mechanical pencil uh, I don't use any type of fancy pencils if I'm just trying to lay down a little bit of shade I'll just use a number two HB pencil this is just a school pencil I just use that uh, to knock it out so these are types of tools it doesn't cost you a lot so if I'm traveling on a flight or something meet a client somewhere man this is stuff I can keep in my pocket in a sketchbook and bam you're done um, I'll give you like an example of just a uh, you know, just doing some some sketches, you know, uh, on, on paper. It keeps it simple. You know, you get to the point of what you're doing, and it hones in you. So when you're thinking of simplification of your storyboard uh, shots, you can use simple tools, and we're we're going to practice that using Photoshop and sort of show you what I'm talking about in terms of uh, keeping it simple. If you're enjoying this lesson so far, please subscribe to the channel. Don't forget this to give this particular video a like and drop me a comment too. Just even if it's a you know it's a happy face emoji or a hand waving, just say hey Polly, it's me. How you doing? Uh, always love. Uh, hearing from everybody um so uh i have a uh, ling guzman hi how you doing welcome to the to, to the live stream happy you could join us today so again uh, ling uh joining us today ronnie says i use all those materials for my sketchings oh cool cool awesome yeah those are just great tools to use and uh and have fun with it so let's go back into photoshop and uh, talk about a little bit more about where we're talking about simplifying uh, the drawing uh, when storyboarding you know uh, make your drawing it helps to make your drawings go faster um, I would say over here when practicing Uh, use pen use pen and paper um, and then with that that using pen with pen so let's just go right here and that would that could be a ballpoint Or a sharpie. And with that, you have to stay, you have to commit to line. You have to commit to lines. Um, Can't erase. It also keeps you focused. Keeps you focus on the most important lines. Or parts of drawing. Okay, so if that makes uh, makes sense to you guys. Okay, so again, um, back from the top, you know, we talked about line art, two points when they intersect is a line. Uh, we want to simplify drawing when storyboarding. It makes your storyboarding go faster, especially your thumbnailing. It just helps you just rip right through those shots uh, a lot quicker. Uh, when practicing and, use, and learning, use the pen and paper. Stay away, you know, sometimes I would say stay away from pencils a little bit uh, because with pens, whether it be a ballpoint, you know, pen or a Sharpie marker or something like that, um, you have to commit to the line. You can't erase it. 
and it keeps you focused on the more, most important lines or parts of the shot or drawing. So uh, those are some critical things there. We just had Wolf Midnight just joined in. Hey, Wolf Midnight, good to see you. Happy you're uh, part of the live stream tonight. Thanks for joining in, my friend. Got so many folks here. We got Buddha Belly joining in. We got Ronnie. We got Ling. We got Wolf Midnight. Awesome to have you all. And then also to you friends that are watching this on the replay. Thanks for joining me uh, if you weren't able to catch me tonight here live. So how can we use some of our drawing programs? Let me link these two together. So if I need to come back to this, we can get going. Okay, just notes. Call this notes. Now, it's just such an honor for you folks to be joining me live and hanging out. It means the world to me. And uh, I, I really, I get, I get excited just hanging out with you friends and... Uh, just in, enjoying our time together and ho hopefully each lesson is useful to you and that you learn a lot and uh, you're having fun with these uh, these lessons and live streams it, it's uh, I put a lot of time into thinking about this and how to present the material and uh, you know like I said there's over I think this is 82 different live streams about two hours each you got well over 160 hours of visual storytelling content to learn from and uh, try, try to give you the best uh, lessons possible here. Um, so one thing uh, when I'm drawing, just some other tips and tricks, when I'm drawing, I usually throw down a background color. So if I'm sitting there for hours at a time, sitting there sketching, storyboarding, and creating these shots, I, it drives me nuts looking at a white screen. So I, I tend to uh, just drop uh, I know a color on there, a tone. Sometimes I'll just draw black and just get it to maybe let's try a 15%, uh, you know, uh, transparency on there so I can sort of see what I'm doing a little bit there. And that usually helps here. And, uh, you know, that, that helps me a lot just to be able to simplify things and, uh, you know, let, let me work and stuff if I'm sketching. So. So how, how can we use Photoshop to, to, to do some basic uh, line art or whatever drawing program uh, you're using? Uh, Wolf says, I find working in Photoshop is so difficult to, compared to paper. I think it's it's uh, it's too many undos. Yeah, that's, that's the thing too. And I, I go back to, um, it's a great point, Wolf. I know I'm working digitally right now. Uh, I have to sort of get my camera system set up a little bit different and I'll work traditional for you guys too so you can sort of see but like I said if you're just starting out and, and you're working and you're practicing your craft um, seriously folks grab the pens grab some paper get to it that way um, uh, I would I would say to working digitally too um, like Wolf just mentioned about the undo yeah that's just like using an eraser or whatever you want you're doing too but, uh, you know, I, th I think when, when you're working, you want to commit to your line and practice that um, hand-eye coordination in terms of laying down those lines um, the best you can. Because, like I said, there is no erase. So you have to be very committed to your line and very focused in what you're doing. Uh, Photoshop, too, you can sit there and do undos, and it's just like using this eraser and you know getting all the erasing done of your, your pencils and stuff so uh but when you're learning yeah knock it out in your sketchbooks i i, I have some sketchbooks here where it's just i got hundreds and hundreds of, of of shots that i've drawn and it's just like it's just simple line art with a, a pen so anyway good point uh, wolf midnight let's get back into it so here i'm using photoshop but what i do is i try to keep it pretty simple too and I try not to do the undo uh, or use the eraser tool and those type of things. I try to stay committed in terms of what I'm doing. And uh, so when I'm drawing, let me throw a line down here. So if I'm using a digital tool, I'll just okay. I'll try to keep it simple and uh, like right now um, sometimes I, I work anywhere from a 4 to 12 point um, this is usually a, a hard round brush 
like that and I'll, and I'll just work like that and if I'm 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 also to keep it simple too sometimes I'll use a, a thicker point Maybe it's like a 50% gray on that. And uh, sometimes, you know, just for tone, I'll use the lasso tool or airbrush. So let, let's give it, let's give an example of what I'm talking about. So if I if I'm working like right here, and let's just say um, let's draw a panel here. Okay, so we have a panel there, and I'm going to go draw a character in there. Um, Ronnie was saying, I, I, I uh, prefer traditional personally. Digital can be too much for me sometimes. Yeah, it, it can. I'm just using this as our demonstration here for tonight. But yeah, use that pen and paper. Have, have some fun with it. I'm just using some simple cheats. So if you are working digital, how to keep it simple too. So so if I'm working, you know, I want to, I want to be committed to uh, my lines here in terms of... Uh, what, what I'm doing so if I'm going to commit to my lines I'm just like if I'm drawing a face or something like that you can sort of see how, how I would stay committed to my lines if I'm going to draw and I keep it simple You know, I'll just keep it simple to what I'm doing in terms of my lines. You know, I'll go in there and so I'm using just a simple line like that. And then I can just go in there and just use a thicker line. Just to add some. And then if I needed to, I could use that lasso tool. Just add those fills or whatever I need to do.
terms of what I'm doing or if I need to add a tone or something like that. Sort of get the idea of how we're, we're just quickly throwing that shot together. Here we have a pretty basic simple shot just really simply done using just getting to the point of what you're trying to draw and uh, using that sort of philosophy there of getting those shots done so um, I, I think it's super important to, to, to make it really simple in terms of what we're doing if we're just doing some sort of uh, a thumbnail we just want to get to the point because we might have you know 40 shots that we need to put together maybe we need to do a couple hundred you know whatever it might be um, we want we want these to be simple you know and then you're going well hey Paul how do, how do I keep it simple too I have a whole figure to draw uh, and things like that so a couple other things to keep your line art simple so you can knock things out is you know when I when I'm sitting there drawing and, and you're you're drawing I'm not I don't need to, to draw a fancy illustration because I, I can do a fancy illustration and uh, you know and work like that there's a couple different ways um, you know when, when I'm committing to, 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 to my lines maybe I'm just you know thinking of, of the shapes of what I'm doing and uh, you know how I can get this done quick maybe I have some sort of female uh, femme fatale or something you know and I'm, I'm just drawing her real quick and just with that simple line art I'm able to, to draw it draw that that character out really really quick and uh, you know and then I can come back in and, and add some some basic uh, you know tonals to if I needed to so if I'm trying to get her let's just see here You can see with the, the basic just line art 
and keeping it simple. created a quick drawing just using simple line art in terms of uh, what we're doing here but we kept the lines uh, pretty simple uh, another strategy is you know think think of the, the the basic shapes when you're laying down your lines in terms of what you're doing when you're drawing and that'd be like so if i was trying to do an even simpler version of, of this I, I just always think of the the shape the shape of the head sometimes i'll just add the smile if i'm just drawing a quick storyboard same drawing here You can sort of get the idea you know just just keeping it simple keeping it fluid of what you're doing so you can knock out these drawings really relatively quickly so there's even a more simplification of that particular shot or you know you could change uh you know wh whatever she's doing if she's mean and we're not doing a lot of lines here you know but just using that 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 sort of that headshot maybe she's uh, mischievous or or sad or whatever you, you sort of look at like your basic cartooning or whatever you're looking at keep it simple with your lines so you can knock these drawings out let's just say, let's say you're doing a, a that that's a front profile or if you're doing a, a side profile you know keep those Design simple too. Whatever it might be in terms of those lines. Another little uh, tactic I use too is let's just use a thicker line here. And then um, drop down the opacity of it, keep it really simple. This works for me well too if I'm just using simple line art to uh, knock out whatever I'm doing. Let's just say I'm doing a head. Keep it simple like that and just draw your, your, your character like this. whoever it might be and then you could come in there then go ahead and
in terms of what you're doing here. Sort of got like a Lois Lane vibe on this thing. Okay, so keeping that, that line art pretty simple in terms of uh, what you're doing there. Um, then you sit there and go, hey, Polly, how about uh, full body shots? How, how would I look about that? You know, to keep those lines uh, simple in, uh, in terms of what we're doing and what we're working on. So when I'm just boarding, let's just say I'm, I'm have a little bit of an action scene or sequence and stuff like that. Let's see here. I'll sit there and I'll I'll try to draw shapes. So if I have a character. His backs to me. He's going to fight or something. I'll just keep it. Keep that drain really simple and just do the
I'll keep it simple. So if it's like a fight, fight sequence or something like that. Just keep your, your shapes. Keep those shapes simple. So when you're working like this, you can work really quickly. And uh, knock out those shots you need. So it's still working like that. Use that lasso tool. We can just So to sort of see how simple we could keep it.
You see how simple we're keeping this. Give it some tones for a little bit of a fight. This guy got hit. Yeah, that type of thing. So keeping those drawings really simple. If you guys are enjoying the lesson today and having some fun with the live stream, please uh, throw us, you know, uh, subscribe to the channel. Also, to uh, take a moment, drop a comment and a like on this particular video. Let me know that you like what you're seeing and uh, and enjoying yourself with it. And and again, if you uh, see uh, see so inclined, you know, uh, check out my uh, buy me a coffee link. I'd appreciate all the support possible, even if it's a simple cup of coffee. I appreciate uh, hanging out with you guys and you guys spending your uh, your busy day with me and uh, taking the time out of all the places you could spend on YouTube. Uh, you're hanging out with me tonight, so I super appreciate you. Thanks so much. Okay, so right now we've been talking about line art and keeping your line art pretty fast in terms of uh, what you're doing. We've, we've drawn some pretty complicated characters here, but you don't need very much to, to, to tell your stories, you know. If you need to, you could work in simple primitives as well in uh, terms of uh, the drawings that you're doing. And uh, a couple other things on... Uh, Go down here a little, a little bit on figures too. Is um, did sort of a little fight, but just think about that 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 just the silhouette of a character. If you can draw a, a shape like this, we go back into animation into the. Uh, potato sack or rice sack type of animation in, in your doing things and you're animating that that rice bag and you know you can get different um, shapes out of these just basic lines and stuff so when, when I'm thinking of a character of, of, of a male or your Thinking of a, 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 a female character, um, you can keep this pretty simple. In, in terms of your drawings and, and your and your line art, you know. You know, you can keep these things pretty simple. So think of these these basic shapes and silhouettes when you're working too. So This is, you can do some studies with this when I mean, you're just drawing some forms, you know, whether it be a crime drama like that, you know, whether if he's drawing, you know, drawing his gun or whatever like a thing. Just think simple, you know, even if it's a uh,
Let's work on those basic shapes and those basic forms when you're drawing. And this goes for um, even if you have some sort of creature. Creature design. Think of the, the simple silhouette shapes. whatever you might be doing. So you can use that for creature design, you can do it for animals. Just think of the silhouette, think of those simple outlines of the, the drawings that you're doing it will help your your storyboarding get quicker in terms of uh, what you're doing there. Let's uh, pull this together real quick. Sort of pull together what we're talking about here. Okay, so let's draw some shots here and sort of talk about how we can speed things up. With what you're doing, I'm going to take a quick little sip break of my coffee. And uh, any questions, throw them into the chat. Love to hear if uh, any questions and stuff, so uh, please drop it in the chat. Love to hear. So Ronnie, what projects are you working on right now? Hey, how's your drawings coming along? How about you, Wolf Midnight? You were, I know you were working on your portfolio a little bit. How's everything going? Ling, what are you, what are you working on right now? Cool. Just take a sip of my drink here. Talk too much. Can just keep going. Okay. Okay, refreshed. Yeah, if you guys are enjoying the live stream, please feel free. Uh, drop a comment and like in this particular video. Consider subscribing. Help me build this channel and uh, get out there to more folks. Uh, it's so awesome to have so many people just joining in and hanging out. And uh, really appreciate you taking the time to be with me tonight. There's a lot of things you could be doing and, and we're hanging out together tonight. So it's cool. I, I just have so much joy just hanging out with you folks and uh, drawing with you so very cool okay let's get back into our drawings here 
And uh, let's draw some uh, some shots over here. Seven point. Let's just uh, quickly throw together. Uh, Just quickly throwing together some panels with some shots. We can sort of show how quickly we can board. Okay, so we got our grid sort of set up here real quick. Took two seconds to do. And then uh, let's sort of keep it simple as we're working here. Turn that layer down. Sort of pull this all together now. Cool. Ronnie says, I posted something recently, uh, kind of a short comic that I was inspired by from a video I saw. I have a, a script I decided to make, and I'm working on drawing the rest of it out. Cool. Awesome. That sounds like fun. It's always, it's always good to keep drawing. And Ronnie, I'm so happy for you to get in your art chops back and getting back into the swing of drawing and uh, regularly, uh, you know, getting in there. I know we all hit that wall at some point in time and uh, you know we need to get ourselves back up on our feet and uh, continue drawing and, and you know finding don't ever lose that passion and uh, you know and what you're doing you know and at times too I, I hit that wall too so I have to you know go back and dive deeper there might be a project I'm not too super you know jazzed about but I want to be professional and give the best quality work I can do too so um, you know you find those things what it gives you passion to get through it and get those uh, things done and uh, uh, be able to keep going and uh, you know to me I love doing the live streams it gives me a chance to sort of just let loose share um, you know like I said share journey share processes those things for years I paid my life to learn how to do and uh, you know be able to, to share with you good folks and uh, get through it you know uh, in terms of what we're doing and uh, some days you know just you know my, my hand isn't working and it's just I'm all uh, I'm not getting enough rest or whatever it might be and you just gotta keep going and um, I, I think for me I just always have that inner drive and the, the drive to to, to 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 create and to to hone it in and and, it, and it, it, it's it's just something I've always done, and I, I think you got to even in the hard times and, and pushing through, you got to be able to be confident in what you're doing and, uh, and keep going. So, but uh, so happy for you, Ronnie. Thanks, for, you know, good for you getting back into things. Uh, I'm happy to have you back here on the live streams. So okay, so we're back over here. We created a bunch of shots, you know, a, a bunch of shots. Let's just go ahead and just sort of talk about what we're talking about. And uh, sort of draw the, the those drawings using this, these simple line line techniques and stuff. So um, I'm just sort of thinking of how I want to do this. Um, let's just say um, I'm just sort of thinking out loud here. Um, let's just say we have some sort of a uh,
I'm just thinking out loud. Maybe I just have a let's do something different that we don't usually do here. Let's just sort of Just sort of thinking here real quick. Start blocking things out a little bit here. Let's try this again. I don't like that so far. Working. Let's see how I'm going to do this. Okay, so let's just uh, try to think of the best way to do this. Thinking of a chair right now, you can sort of see how we're sort of pulling this together a little bit. We'll use that. Simple tools here to try to see how to make this work. Sort of Kind of just drawing like a some sort of fighter jet type of so the jet here. Jets flying off. You can sort of think of that basic line art as we're doing this together.
right now we're just roughing this thing out. There we go. Okay. Here's the gray tones there. That. You can sort of see a simple Simple shots coming into play for what we're trying to do here. Let's grab this. Now the hook is the plane, the plane's taken off. Okay, that'd be shot one. Keeping it sort of simple, maybe we have a pilot here. Oops. Just thinking of the pilot.
thinking inside the cockpit. Talking about those simple lines. You could always do something like this where you just knock it down. Shows what we're doing. Got his uh,
get the idea of what we're doing here. So if we're looking at this, we're going one, two, three. As we're putting this together real quick, we're just sort of looking at these different uh, Options. Maybe these two pilots are talking to each other just using a simple line art. Maybe we just got this character here. You see something wrong? Another pilot.
Just thinking out loud as we're boarding together using line art. By just keeping your sketches sort of sketchy and loose, you're able to quickly these shots together. I'm storyboarding pretty quick now because we're just knocking this out quickly.
Yeah, the two planes are there. I'm storyboarding these thumbnails pretty darn quick, uh, just using simple line art in terms of what we're doing here. I'll take a sip of a drink here. Cool. Any questions for those that are uh, still on the chat? Ronnie thought things were looking good. Uh, Ronnie says, I must go and get some rest now. I have somewhere to be tomorrow morning, but it's nice to join in, and I hope the rest of the stream goes well. Good night. Yeah, have a good night. Thanks for joining in, Ronnie. Appreciate you. Very cool. Okay, let's do uh, maybe one more shot. We'll call it a night. But uh, using a simple, that simple line art, uh, just, just quickly, you know, Helps out quite a bit, so you can just knock out these shots as quickly as possible. I know I'm adding some uh, tones and things like that to it. So uh, let's, let's get some uh, emergency on the next one. Um, just sort of thinking here on this next shot. Maybe we'll grab... Thinking is that there's some sort of Probably need to get some reference to instead of a plane. sort of thinking out loud here.
It's really interesting to do it there like that. There's a red flash on him. Or if I needed to do something like that, I could go. Grab that other Let's try to think of something on the plane.
we'll finish this uh, a little bit later. But it gives you an idea of what we're doing here on trying to keep lines simple to be able to uh, knock out your shots and uh, have some fun with it. Appreciate everybody hanging in there and uh, watching. So again, you know, using your line art uh, to, to help yourself uh, to, to what you're doing over here and uh, helps you get this stuff knocked out quicker. And so line art does help quite a bit. Uh, we talked about a lot of different things tonight. Let me see if we can zoom out a little bit there. Just lots of fun here. Uh, just boarding this sort of fighter jet sort of sequence here, having some fun with it, just thumbnailing this thing out. But uh, again, hope you had a good time uh, watching this particular live stream. Yeah, use a simple, uh, that simple line art uh, to... Uh, Knock out your drawings. Let me uh, bring back some of that work we were doing here. Create this as a uh, grouping here. In terms of the lines, you know, keeping those lines really simple in, in terms of, uh, you know, either silhouette or um, just in your characters to keep uh, your your drawings very quick and uh, easy to do. You know, we were talking about our, um, you know, line art earlier. You know, two points make up a line. And, uh, you know, line art helps you to simplify your drawings when you're storyboarding. Uh, it makes your drawings go faster in terms of knocking out your drawings uh, to get everything... Uh, you know, going as, as fast as you can um, to get that, you know, to be, get speed so you can hit those deadlines. Uh, when practicing and learning, use pen and paper, you know. We were talking about that real quick uh, earlier at the beginning of the live stream. You know, um, hone in. Use your basic tools, you know, just a, a simple ballpoint pen or a, a simple ink pen, a Sharpie. And uh, I use a, you know, grayscale Copic marker and just on paper, you know, and when you're, you're boarding, just keep your, 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 your drawings uh, super simple, you know, when you're, you're sketching. That helps you uh, to, to, to be committed to your line when you're using pens. You know, it makes you sort of think a little bit more before you start dropping in the line. When we're using pencils and stuff, we can just go to town and noodle the heck and draw it to death or erase it or whatever. And we were talking about, Wolf Midnight was talking about, you know, you know sometimes digital gets you into that, that sort of uh, bad path, too, to undo all the time or erase that way, too. But um, so some uh, tips and tricks over there. And then also, too, we were talking about, uh, you know, like I said, using uh, pens, you know, ballpoint or Sharpie. Uh, it makes you, helps you to commit to your lines. You can't erase and it keeps you focused. And the most important lines are parts of the shot or drawing. So, um, and again, we were, we were doing all that stuff there and uh, we had done this uh, fighter, you know, sort of a fighter sequence real quick using some of those simple techniques uh, to sort of get to your thumbnail stage and get going. So, um, Bizen.d, uh, I haven't been able to catch your live, so I've been rewatching your streams. Hey, super appreciate you supporting the channel and, and hanging out. Really appreciate you dropping in tonight and hanging out. It's nice to catch you live today, even though you're ending it soon. Yeah, uh, if you have any questions, throw them in the chat real quick uh, before I end it up. Be happy to answer them. Uh, sometimes I use charcoal for storyboarding. Yeah, you can get a lot of value out of charcoal. I love using charcoal and, and uh, having fun with that. Did, did a lot of uh, traditional artwork that way too, but uh, lots of fun. So um, I'm enjoying that. So if you have any other questions, throw them in the chat real quick before we wrap it up and uh, call it a night. Got to go to work tomorrow. 
and uh, get the day started. And so it's almost for me two in the morning over here. So we spent the last couple of hours together. And again, if you're enjoying these live streams and you're getting value out of it, please subscribe to the channel. I'm coming to you three times a week with the live streams. Looking forward to getting some videos out too. We haven't done that before yet for the channel. Looking forward to doing that with you. And then also on this particular uh, video, put a like and a happy face or some sort of comment. You know, shout it out, you know, and uh, terms of uh, what we're doing. If uh, at the same time, if you guys would like to uh, support the channel, uh, I'd, I'd appreciate your support of the channel. And, uh, you know, I've partnered up with, uh, I'm going to say partnered up. It's not sponsored, but uh, I've I signed up. And uh, right now, uh, you know, I'm working with the uh the platform buy me a coffee and I've signed up for that and uh, you know I would appreciate it if uh, you'd like to donate a coffee um, I run on coffee I love coffee I'd appreciate it, it helps to support the channel uh, I like to continue uh, creating great content for the channel I like to do more with this channel and uh, I, I signed up for this buy me a coffee so right now it's, it's just taking uh, tips and donations so if you'd like to leave a tip or donation Feel free. I'd appreciate it. You don't have to. Uh, I'd appreciate anything. Uh, you can help out the channel so we can do more of this uh, stuff together. Uh, and uh, I'm looking forward to using this platform because uh, I'm going to be able to offer you one-on-one -on -one, uh, coaching, uh, be able to get uh, some of my um, memberships and things like that going through Buy Me a Coffee, as well as digital products that, that uh, I'm currently working on too. Um, so if this is something you're interested in, what I like about the platform is you, you don't have to sign up for anything. If you want to contribute, contribute. Uh, there's no collection of uh, all sorts of data or emails and stuff like that, and they'll spam you. And I thought it was great because there's no real gatekeeper into it where you, Patreon and other uh, platforms, you have to sign up for the platform uh, to be able to contribute and uh, as we build our, our, our membership and our community together. So if it's something you'd like to participate in, I, I'd sincerely appreciate and humbled uh, with your donations with a coffee. And I thought it's a cute idea too. Just a coffee. Cool. Um, again, I enjoyed being with you good friends tonight. I had a, a blast being with you and sharing my time with you. I, I really enjoy uh, sharing and uh, uh, being a part of your journey and uh, look forward to future content with you besides the ones that have already been made uh, Getting close to getting to a hundred live streams pretty soon and uh, you know, we'll keep going strong You guys have a great night Keep learning keep honing in your storytelling abilities so you can tell your stories uh, With everything that you are learning. I'll leave you with my contact information here at the end But other than that, I will see you on Thursday for sketching after hours Till then, have a fantastic night. I just really quickly wanted to thank everybody, you know, joining in. Um, you know, I, I got uh, Bizen.D who just dropped in. Ronnie who was able to jump in. Wolf Midnight, always a pleasure. You know, uh, Ling uh, Guzman, awesome. Buddha Belly, always appreciative of everybody jumping in and hanging out with, with, with me live. And if you're a friend out there watching this on the replay, Thanks for taking time out of your busy day to come and hang out with me. Uh, so I will catch you guys on the next live, live stream. And uh, I will leave you once again with my contact information if you want to get in touch. Talk to you soon. Take care. Have a great night.